Elgato changed their logo and added some cool features to their software. So we're taking a look at the update to the Game Capture HD software from Elgato. Here's a brief rundown of what they've changed. Most importantly is that they've, well, in, in my opinion, they fixed some bugs and things like that, but they have added in the option to set a hotkey for a predefined flashback recording record, which is how NVIDIA Shadowplay works and how a lot of people were wanting uh, the Elgato software to work is to be able to set a hotkey in order to go back X amount of time and record footage. And they finally added that in along with some performance benefits uh, for the audio encoding, which is a huge deal for everyone, the audio desync and all of those issues, as well as specifying uh, what kind of tracks you can export a little more you know, detailed and fix some bugs. And so they have changed the entire branding for their software they have and their and their entire presence. They have a blog post up on Medium if you want to check it out. They've apparently been around for five years now. It's hard to accept that Elgato Gaming has been around for such a long time, but I do remember a time before Elgato Gaming was a thing when it was, you know, we were relying on more production oriented gear and, you know, even before I remember before HD was a thing on gaming YouTube and people were using VCRs to record. I actually have a video somewhat relevant to that coming very shortly. So they've rebranded themselves with the visual logos and they're redoing the packaging soon and all that jazz. They got new intros and such. And so the new software has the updated intro, but it also has the new features. So we're going to take a look real quick here. I have my PS4 hooked up to the HD 60 S for the sakes of this. So when we go to sharing, you can now also set the number of maximum simultaneous exports, which is important because before it would random, you know, if you told it to export a bunch of videos, it would export like all of them at once and just slow your computer to a crawl and probably crash, not crash your computer, but crash the software or break the bork the exports or something. So we now have more control over that. Uh, here are the hotkey settings and here you have the flashback recording. So for uh, shadow play, it's like alt F10, but I actually still have shadow play open. So I'm going to set it as alt F10 and see what it thinks. And we're going to set it to the last 10 minutes but you have 15 seconds all the way up to 30 minutes, which is really cool because if you just want to record, you know, the last gaming session, you can use the longer one. Or if you are very specific about separating out certain clips, which is what I do sometimes, you can set it to 30 or 45 seconds and then have it only save that clip. Because an issue that I run into is I'll be recording for a long time and then save an entire match just to get a couple clips. And then when I go back to look through the couple clips, I end up not finding them and because they're buried in hours of gameplay. So this is actually pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, so I'm gonna set it to 10, no, I'm gonna set it to five minutes. Click okay. Everything else is gonna look about the same other than again, the logo. And in a recent update from the last time I've covered their software, they're actually disabled or gave you an option to disable 60 FPS preview, which will a be another performance benefit because by running your preview at only 30 FPS, it just kind of uses less system resources and things like that. I don't have to worry about that personally, but it's still something cool to see that they added in there since the last time I took a look at the software that wasn't added in this latest update, but still is a thing. Uh, they do also now install sound capture separately. Uh, they, they ask you if you want to install it that way, if you don't, for some reason, you have that choice available to you and that's pretty much it, but that big thing. So. Also with the export specific files option that it listed in the change notes, I was looking for it in the sharing tab here and it wasn't here. But if you go to the timeline and right click and go to where it normally just says save game audio or save ex like overlays and such, you now have all the options to save game audio, live commentary, sound capture and webcam video all separately. And then when you go to actually export the file, if you say just save live commentary only the export well that was way too slow but the export explicitly says there what it's exporting so i will tell it to do that nope right click save game audio only and the it won't pull up oh it's so quick their their rendering is super quick on my computer now i don't know why but with this update like the files export so freaking quick which is great but bad when i'm trying to show this all right save game audio only exporting game audio that's what they added, which is a little helpful because those icons are really hard to see. I'm going to do a little gameplay play here. Gameplay play. Make sure the hotkey works before I tell you to use it. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, oh shit! I haven't I haven't touched this game in months upon months. It's been an incredibly busy season. I've had no time for games. I've honestly missed it, and I hope Ogato continues to provide me with more uh, capture card related content that needs to be made. That way, I have an excuse to keep gaming. Because <laughs> otherwise, I don't have much of an excuse to be able to game, and that can be pretty sad. Because I love playing my video games. I just wish I didn't have to buy Infinite Warfare with it, because I will never play it. Like, I don't think I've played it once since the beta. And I only played like two matches in the beta and already made my decision about it. Alright, and that match is over, so I'm gonna come over here to my Elgato software and hit Alt F10. And it automatically did it. It just went back and saved that entire last five minutes of gameplay footage. And we have in here my gameplay clips. So that's pretty cool. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome videos. If you have any other requests about what I should cover regarding the Elgato software, leave me a comment down below. I do have an entire tutorial series up on it already on how to use it. Uh, so if you are missing out on something, check that playlist link in the description down below. And otherwise, I will see you next time.